What's up everybody? Abby here and I haven't done a video in a long time. So I figured I'd come and give you all an update. Alright, so what's been going on since my last video when I was actually at home in the United States was um, I gave an update on me thinking that I got my identity stolen, which turns out it wasn't my identity. It was just me lack. It was my lack of preparation or um, not being cognizant of how I was using the credit cards that I had acquired. Um, so what happened was uh, two of my highest, you know, my oldest, my oldest credit cards pretty much had closed because I wasn't using it. And that just sunk my credit score. To which now it's back on the up and up. A1 credit score, might I add. So I'm happy about that. Um, going home was pretty cool. The few things that I want to share with you all that I noticed that I have been spoiled either being an American or being in the UAE. So let me share a couple of those with you. So one of the things I didn't notice that I have now been trained to do or become accustomed to living in the UAE is turning on the bathroom lights from the outside of the bathroom. So I was always looking for the switch on the outside of the bathroom when I was home but they were on the inside. So that was something weird that I didn't even know I got used to around here. Another thing, since we're speaking about the bathroom, is um, the, bun, the, the bum gun, the bum gun. I got used to having that, the little sprayer joint. It's dope. I love it. So I was really sad going home and not having that. But on the other side, one of the things that um, I forgot that I got used to um, was the fact that my water is always hot here. Um, and the option of having a cold shower in the United States was something that was like, oh, cold water does exist. So the water typically here is either warm lukewarm to hot uh, coldness doesn't really happen at least in my apartment it doesn't really happen so getting a shower being like oh that was cold water that was something that was just like oh okay I, I don't necessarily enjoy cold showers but I was like I was happy to have the option the other thing that I didn't notice that I stopped doing was texting I don't text regularly on like a regular cell phone so you know like the iPhone users like if you have iMessage if you have a blue message I can text those numbers but the green bubbles the Android users or whomever I don't know how to text y'all anymore especially overseas like uh, if you're overseas you're using WhatsApp or using a different platform to be able to text or message somebody but a regular text message is something that I've had trouble with over here and the only thing I could successfully text is like parking uh, so yeah, I, I stopped texting. So going home, I forgot that I could text other people when I was using my U.S. phone. I forgot all about unlimited minutes. Here, I literally have 50 minutes to call the United States. That's what I, I pay for. That's what I pay for. And 50, like, local minutes. Other than that, I'm not on the phone. Um, if, I, if I'm not using, like, Zoom or something, I'm not on the phone. So going home and, like, being able to call and, like, wait, even if I had to, like, be on hold and be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not using up all my minutes. These are actually like unlimited, not necessarily free, but unlimited. I was tripping out just like, oh, you are on the phone for longer than two minutes. We, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. So coming back, we back on the don't, don't call me thing. Or we ain't not going to speak for long for sure. Uh, you better call me on Zoom or, or WhatsApp me because can't waste a minutes. Many of us know that here in the UAE, we get our deliveries fairly quickly. Like, if I order something off Amazon, I'm probably going to get it tomorrow. Two days max. Going to the States and waiting three, four, five days to get something or not even coming was um, was disappointing. Was very disappointing. So, um, I've been spoiled in that to where it's just like, I order it. There's been times where you can order it and you get it like six to 12 hours later. Like, they just have it ready for you. So, uh, even if it says, oh, this might come on such and such a date which is like a week and a half out they'll be like your order is being delivered tomorrow and you're just like yes so going home and not getting that quick turnaround like i'm accustomed to was not okay also the food options were like terrible terrible like i'm like doordash you cool or whatever but i, I just have so many options here um, even though I should stop eating out because sometimes I don't eat at all. But anyway, I like having the options. We got, you know, three and four and probably more uh, options to choose from when it comes to delivering food. And this is not three or four restaurants. These are three or four delivery services that gives us, like, the opportunity to order from multiple restaurants from around the city. So not having that at my fingertips probably saved me some money, to be honest. But when I was hungry, I wanted 
the convenience of having all of my Deliveroo's motto and what's the other one? It doesn't matter. I'm name dropping. I don't even know. Y'all not even paying me. Let me stop. Decent customer service. I'm used to my yes ma'am sir, yes ma'am, uh, no problem. I'm used to all of that right now. So going back to the States and being like, is, is that all? Can I help you with anything else? He's just like, all right, cool. I, I don't even want to deal with this. We're going to make this as quick as possible so I don't get no attitude with you for being upset with me because I need something. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I won't even say reasonable COVID test pricing because it was free. So that's one thing that was great about being in the States. I needed a test to come back um, within 48 hours. I had some some complications a little bit. I had to even move my flight up because of the holiday and the weekend that was coming up. I didn't want to get stuck in the States. I needed to get back to the UAE. But the great thing was I was able to register through like uh, the health department and go up to a couple different drive through areas to go and get my COVID testing. The thing that was different, and I'll show y'all in a second. The thing was different is that here in the UAE, they administer it for you. They do that, the, the, the test that goes, it'd be like back here. In, inside it feels like it's in your ear in your head they do that they they, they stab you in the nose right and I have to pay for that but in the states it was free but it was the self-administered one it was a, a shallow one how I try to explain it to people is like the place right where don't act like you haven't picked your nose before we might do it less now but don't act like you never did it you know that place in your nose to where your your fingers too thick to get there that's where that's where the shallow one went but then they had you go like in both nostrils. Check this out. I'll show you. I go So, the cool thing about that was it wasn't as uncomfortable as the ones I take here in the UAE, the ones that I pay for as well, but um, it just didn't, it didn't go as deep, and it was free. I was with that, so I was able to get all, <laughs> I took three tests in like two days, I was able to get all of them back, and they were negative, thankfully, and get back to the UAE with a good amount of time to try to beat jet lag, which was a, a whole nother beast. Okay, so driving at home. Driving at home was uh, a little nerve-wracking because um, I don't see as many police officers when I drive here. If you're speeding or doing something silly, the cameras will get you. So going back home and actually seeing cop cars and like there was a cop car behind me at one time and I started sweating. Even though I wasn't doing anything illegal, it was just a reminder of where I was and the things that could happen. Even though like Everything was fine. It was just nerve-wracking being home and knowing that something could happen. And I'm thankful that nothing did, but just their presence kind of made me a little anxious. So that was that was weird to me. Uh, also, uh, when you're driving in the fast lane here in the UAE, typically people will be like, move by flashing their lights. And they'll get out of the way, and you can proceed to, to passing them. In the States, flashing your lights can mean a, a plethora of different things, and you just don't want to go there. But here, they would be like, get out, move, get out the way, literally. And so uh, it was interesting, literally just having to drive and be patient, even though I don't know why people that want to drive slow are driving in the fast lane. It was very, very irritating. Let me tell you something that I do miss, though, that I could potentially have here, but it's just, it's just different washing and drying your clothes and getting them back in the same day that was amazing i washed my clothes multiple times while being home just because i could wear them again it was great here i'm going the crunchy method you know i'm washing them hanging them out to dry and they're just crunchy now there are dryers here they're just different they're different and they, they serve its purpose my apartment's a little too small to have all that but what they do is they're like uh, dehumidifiers. They they take out the water and they collect it into this water thing and you have to dump it out. So the clothes dry. It's just not the one 
back at home where you have the exhaust and things come out fluffy and hot and all this other stuff. So it's just different. But going home and having a dryer was awesome. Another thing that I missed that I didn't even realize that I missed was hearing the call to prayer. Hearing the call to prayer here is, is, a, is awesome. It's a great reminder to be able to reflect on the things that whomever you serve has done for you and uh, and just hearing it. I've gotten used to it. Uh, they, it, you know, it comes on at various times on the day. And um, yeah, I've grown accustomed to hearing the call to prayer early in the morning, you know, late at night, not super late, but you know, the diff the various times of prayer, but um, I've grown to appreciate it. And it's also a great reminder to me um, to continue to be thankful for the things that God has given me. Anyway, I've been rambling. So those are a couple updates that I have, right? So I went home uh, and then January happened. I turned 33 in January 2021. So I'm thankful to be another year older and continuing to pray for more wisdom. I got some things in the works for this particular year I'm excited about. Um, honestly, I just, I would love to be like, I'm grinding, I'm working, I'm doing all this stuff. I'm trying. I'm tired. I'm trying. I'm tired. You know, school is something that is taking a lot of energy out of me just because of COVID, being in or being out. And, you know, we've been fortunate enough to be in more than we have been out by far. And I'm enjoying seeing my kids, but, you know, the, 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 the unknown and the changes and things like that, it takes a lot out of you. Um, so I am trying my best to... I won't, I'm not trying my best. I will try harder. I won't even say my best. I will try harder to continue to do updates and things like that. I have been working on a various different projects that I'm happy and excited about doing. Um, but work is taking a lot out of me. Right now it's, what, 7.23 and your girl's ready to go to bed. Ready to go to bed. I push myself to go ahead and make this video. And I still have a couple things to take care of. But Anyway, if you made it through the video, I really appreciate you. If you live in the States or if you live abroad and there's a couple things that you have noticed that when you left and when you came back, you became accustomed to, pop that down there in the comment section. What have you grown accustomed to if you live abroad or what do you miss about living abroad or what do you miss about home? Put that in the comment section. I'd love to hear more about, uh, about those different things. Uh, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to build my channel here just so I can keep sharing things about my experiences abroad. And uh, I'll make another video soon. I promise. I promise. I'll let y'all soon.